I'm going live anyway because I gotta go through a whole uh, spiel. They all? Yeah. Is that what you just called it too? Yep. <laughs> all right. I'm surprised we use the same word. Yes, I am too. Anyway, so uh, I went live uh, just so you're aware. Um, but the reason I went live is because I have to tell you guys what happened last week anyway. So might as well. Because I, well, it wasn't last week, as I'm sure we kind of guessed. We missed two weeks of games. Because some people decided, you know what, we deserve a vacation. Yeah, we do. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, last session. Um, here's a few things to help remind you of what happened. So I'm not giving you a whole thing because I don't remember all that well. Um, so you guys were at the lodge after having encountered um, a monster in the woods. You guys uh, went, got healed up and then you went back to the lodge just to kind of discuss what was going on. Frankie uh, got her research done on, uh, sorry, their research done on um, the Shadow Realms. So in the previous episode, Maxine had done uh, research on cryokinesis, but we kind of skimmed over Frankie wanting to do research on the Shadow Realms. So Frankie found a paper um, by Helene, Dr. Helena Sinclair on the Shadow Realms. So you guys looked into that a bit further. Um, and I think this might have been later on in the episode, but you discovered that she uh, hosts uh, like live discussions over Zoom, just talking about like different things. Uh, and that that was going to be happening two days from then. So it was going to be happening on the 26th of, or sorry, 25th of January. Uh, and it, it was currently the 23rd of January. Uh, so you guys were like, okay, got to keep that in mind. Uh, Frankie went and talked to the people at the police station, asked about uh, the missing persons. Because you discovered that Elias Redwood's partner, which was uh, um, Rachel Thorn Thornton, um, had gone missing. Uh, there was missing posters of her around the town. So you went to the police station to try and figure out what if, what, if any, evidence they had on the situation. And it wasn't a whole lot. Uh, they interviewed Elias Redwood. No no foul play was detected they put him through a polygraph they tried like figuring out whether he had anything to do with it and not a single shred of evidence pointed towards uh dr elias redwood having anything to do with the situation uh eliza thornton uh still believes that uh, elias does have something to do with it uh that is her sister uh rachel thornton um, and she also is the one who runs the grocery store, I believe. Um, give me a second. Uh, Glacier. Yep. So she's the grocery store owner. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, that was basically all we found out from there. Uh, the officer Rodriguez that helped out Frankie told you that if you go into the woods, so a two, two uh, hour hike to get to the woods, and then you go 20 miles north, and apparently five miles south, but I did edit what I said, 20 miles north and five miles east, that's where you would find uh, Rachel Thornton's last known whereabouts. Uh, then, um, I think this... I'm probably jumbling up the timeline a little bit, but um, Maxine, Oliver, and I believe Charlie went to uh, Jebediah Memorial uh, Hunting Lodge 
and set up an appointment for <laughs> uh, Edmund. And Oliver took the lead in deciding that we were going to go on a guide mission for Edmund to lead you guys to Elias Redwood. Or at least try and find his whereabouts. Um, not a whole lot of faith in that, um, but you still are planning on doing that. Uh, Frankie and I believe Victor went into the cave where you guys had had the encounter with the monster. And Frankie discovered a notebook or a diary of some kind where uh, Rachel was leaving notes. The notes started getting more paranoid as things went on and Frankie uh yeah Frankie was just a little interested in what was going on so it was talking about delving into the mysteries um and then revealing unsettling red eyes in the woods Elias was sharing his une her unease uh then talking about the uh, peculiar energy connection to the shadows we've been chasing. Elias cautions against solo exploration, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then Elias worries as I venture further. The shadows respond, revealing secrets I've long sought. The book must capture the essence of Nahani Valley, even if I have to face its mysteries alone. There's a story here waiting to be told, and I'll be the one to reveal it. So basically, she was getting more and more... Um, unhinged and going deeper into the woods without Elias um <clears throat> so yeah that is that part of the story uh you guys had discussed that um Maxine has a drone so you were possibly thinking about using that to try and help you guys find things um and then you all were tuckered out and decided to take a long rest so that means i know he's not here but oliver and charlie 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 which one's charlie it's nathan oh you're muted Charlie, you're muted. I was trying to make sure stream wasn't broken. Oh, okay. Sorry. Is it broken? No, I was just waiting for someone else to talk. So it's good now. Okay, cool. Um, so you are no longer, you no longer have any harm. You are harm free. Okay. Oliver is also harm free, but he's not here. Um, and Frankie uh, will be joining just shortly. Uh, sh uh, they are also harm free. Um, I don't think anybody else got any harm. Um, and if they did, it was minimal, which means they would be harm free as well. Yeah. Okay. Does that give everybody an idea as to what happened last week? Or last game? I know. Does that jog any memory for anyone? Of course not for you, Wyatt. Oh yeah, by the way, we had just discussed that Wyatt just stayed in his room the entire game. Entire day. <laughs> he was in timeout. For I losing mean, the camera. I mean, he's 14 years old. There might be other reasons why he was staying in his room the entire day. Come on watch tv yeah exactly um anyway uh so yeah you guys slept for the night and continue into the day now so now it is now the 24th of january if anybody taking notes wants to write that down 24th of january uh and you are meeting up with edmund this morning Or what? You're meeting up with Edmund this morning. Okay. 
I'm just trying to find my notes. You said today's the 24th? Correct. And the only reason I bring that up is because there is the... Helena Sinclair is holding a live discussion tomorrow. No sec, I gotta say go to fleet. Yeah, the the lecture that is being held tomorrow is called Quantum Realms Unveiled, Navigating the Shadows of Perception. Um, and that is the discussion for tomorrow. Quantum what? Quantum Realms Unveiled, Navigating the Shadows of Perception. I see uh, that Charlie has been replaced with Dogly. Is there a dog sitting there? Can you not see? Oh. No, I can. I'm facing the other way. Oh. And what time is that on? Uh, I didn't give you a time, but it'd be in the evening. Okay. And it's online, you said? Or streamed? Yeah, it'll be uh, like on Zoom or something. Some something to that effect. Okay. So we're all at the hotel or whatever it's called. You're still at the lodge. You're just waking up so that you can go and go on your guided tour with Edmund. That was me and Well, it can be whoever Oliver. you want to go with you. Except Frankie. Yeah, Frankie might not be a good person to bring. No. They had burned some bridges with Edmund, I believe. Yeah, they they didn't have a great interaction last time. Yeah. And I'm trying to re remember Oliver's intro. I, I think it was Crazy Town. It was Crazy Town, but he rolled really well, so. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember the name of that other guy that was worked there. I know we met him. Tobias? Is that what his name was? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he was the uh, he was guest services at Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tobias. Okay. If I were just waking up and going downstairs, probably want to grab something to eat before we go, or even take something with us. I don't know whether Edmund would supply. You are supposed to bring your own supplies. Okay. Uh, so what what is everybody thinking that they're going to take with them? Considering everybody that is here currently can go on this mission. You're muted. I take my pack. 
Okay, and also your voice changer is not on, just to let you know. Can I take my pack? <laughs> nope, that's wrong. That is... Nope. That is... <laughs> no, that's perfect. That sounds it. just like why. That's, uh, that's like, uh, Yzma for uh, when she gets turned into a cat in, uh, yeah. Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> that is, yeah. yeah. Is that is my that voice? Hello? Why it's voice. No, it's still messed up. Why it's voice changer was a little bit off. He missed it. Oh, there's a solid chance it'll still come up again. Okay. Why is there a movie? That's thing. It's still... It's still off. We're just gonna go without tonight. Alright, no worries. Just make your voice sound super high-pitched. It's cool. Hey, guys. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> what movie? What are we talking about? I don't know. Your dad's pressing oh, on. You've got the watch together. It's a movie. That's not a movie. Seven minute movie. It's not a movie. That's your song. No. You must be in the wrong one. You yeah, you're in the wrong one. Click the link at the second from the top of the pinned list. Here. You can you can just click on that if you really want. Find it. You just sent it. Watch together second from the top. Yeah, the one that was sent in 2024. It's third from the top now. No. Oh. Because I sent Skype. Yes, yes. I got it. There you go. All right. So, uh, Wyatt, you're grabbing your pack. Uh, Charlie, is there anything specifically you want to bring on this mission? Uh, my gun, food, essentially the essentials, and probably my notebook. Okay. Uh, and Victor, is there anything that you specifically want? Uh, what are we uh, doing? Oh, um, we're going. He, go he was not on. We're going to meet up with Edmund. And he's okay. going to take oh. you into the woods and put you down. Okay, so I want to bring my drone this time, correct? That's what we were thinking. Sure. Bring your drone. I got my gun, my sword. We're good. I think I'll bring my gun, too. Okay. What is Wyatt's uh, weapon? Yeah, we what got are a knife. You have a knife? <laughs> I have a rifle and a knife. <laughs> a BB or rifle? Or with like a... an actual rifle? Rifle, rifle. Okay, perfect. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. <laughs> Well, it can't be any worse than Oliver having a gun. Very true. And all yeah, today, than Wyatt, than Wyatt, Oliver having a gun. Oliver today is on a bender, I guess. I don't know. Sounds about right. Okay. So, you guys are all at the lodge. Going Wyatt's on a trip. Out. Oliver's back. There we go. Trying to go so, on the map. I I am on the map moving you guys around, but that, if you yeah. guys aren't there, then it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so uh, we are going to leave Frankie behind at the lodge unless they can come up with an idea of how they're going to disguise themselves, but they are not here yet. They put on a wig sunglasses <clears throat> on the guided tour into the woods with 
Edmund. I'm just asking, uh, asking the player whether she's going to come on the guided tour or not. Hmm. She's responding. She didn't say it. Heck no. No, but I, I would have seen them up. Okay. So, do you guys get a quick breakfast um, before leaving? And uh, you meet Edmund, and he's just outside in a all-terrain vehicle. Um, this is like one of those ones that have seats in them. Three in the back, one in the front. Uh, or two in the front, I guess. Um, yeah, basically. And he's like, all right, everybody. I hope we're all uh, added up and ready to go. Everybody's got their, uh, their thermals on. Yeah, I brought everything I should have. <laughs> Wait, is that not your voice changer? No. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Not about normal. Yeah. Like, normal to voice changer, not normal to normal. I mean, it just takes a lot more effort. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, um, if everybody's ready to go, then uh, let's be off, shall we? Okay. Uh, so you all are hopping into the vehicle it's not heated so uh edmund's in like his big fur coat got his like thick pants on and uh he starts up the vehicle and you guys take off down the road uh who is riding shotgun and who are the three in the back i'll sit in the back it's in the middle in the of the back, the back. I guess I'm shotgun. Yeah, I'll be back. Um. Okay. So Victor's the only one in the front with Edmund. Uh, so Victor, because of how this car is set up, you are pretty much the only one who's going to be able to, for the most part, hear Edmund and definitely talk to Edmund. I kind of figured that. Um, so he's driving along and starts heading off into the woods, heading towards Nahani Valley. Uh, so he takes off, and as he's driving along, he's like, uh, So, uh, what brings you up to these parts? Work. Just doing oh, yeah. my security detail. Yep. Okay. Good to know. Um, all right. So as you can see, we're, uh, driving along the road here. We're heading down into the valley and, uh, you, uh, said you're looking for Elias, right? That's right. All right. Well, he, uh, he likes to keep to himself for the most part, but, uh, I can kind of bring you to his area that I've seen him in and, uh, hopefully that's enough for you guys. And then I'll give you a detailed map as to how to get out. Because uh, I got other clients that I'm dealing with. Uh, and I'll leave you guys the mule for the day. How are you going to get back? Oh, I can walk. All right, well, if that works for you, um, we'll be. I'm sure that'll be good for us. I mean, you guys paid for this, so... Nope, that sounds, All right. sounds good. So you're gonna, want, you're gonna want to keep it. You guys are driving for a while here, and he's like, "You're gonna want to keep an eye out, um, just off to the left here. Uh, this is the ruins. That's all we call it. We don't really know what it was. Nobody's really seen it. Nobody was really saw it while it was active or whatever it was. Uh, the ruins. This means that you are just about." Um, uh, let me just pull that up here. Oh, 
Nope, can't pull it up. One second here. Um, uh, so when you come across these ruins, um, it means you're only about an hour north of town, but that's by walking. So in the mule, as long as you're following the paths, you should be able to get out in probably about 20 minutes. All right. So keep an eye out for the ruins. They're pretty big. And he's driving along and you see this large structure. Um, let me put it in the Discord real quick. Um, do, do, do. Buildings. Ruins. You see this large structure. Um, kind of covered in moss and vines and ivy um, and it you can't really tell what it was or what it used to be or what it was used for but yeah it's deep within the valley it's kind of covered by trees and shadow um, but yeah it's long forgotten era you don't really know what it was and it's crumbling stone walls covered in ivy um, jagged archways leading further into the ruins um, and you kind of see some carvings and stuff but you're only getting a quick glimpse of it so you can't really read through everything um and then yeah and he's like so just make sure you keep an eye out for that and you should be able to find your way gotcha ruins marker check perfect so um as he keeps driving along um, I hope that, uh, you understand that, uh, this is a job for me. So I want to make sure that you understand how to get back, uh, because I don't want to be part of the search party looking for you. So he's like, he pulls out a map as he's but driving. Will, right. What was that? You said you don't want to, but I mean, you would, right? I mean, yeah, I'd prefer not to have to take the time out of my day to do that though i uh, sure you edmund you don't gotta worry uh both wyatt and i wyatt sorry both charlie and i we get the group back not a problem all right so uh, as you're driving along further he kind of comes to a clearing and he's like all right um so in total You've probably been driving for about an hour and a half. Um, comes to a clearing and he's like, all right, so this is the last place I saw him. This is the best I can do for you. All right, this should work for us. He hands you the Everybody keys out. and he's like, you have this for the day. Please bring it back in one piece. Thank you, Edmund. And uh, he starts walking into the woods with a rifle strapped to his back. Where are you going? Back to the lodge. Oh. Okay. Try not to shoot yourself, kid. Or I know how to people. use a gun. I gotta say, that literally sounds exactly like what your voice changer sounds like. That's awesome. All that, all that wasted time with the changer. No, that makes life so much easier so I can just talk normal instead of trying to hold the voice at this octave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Just bending his finger back. All right, so I, uh, who is going to, and I will point out, I know this sucks for everybody, but this is not a monster hunt. This is a person hunt, which means you do not get to use your special uh, thing, which allows you to roll with uh, sharp, uh, or sorry, roll with weird instead of cool. So 
unfortunately, I need somebody to... Where's my moves here? Sorry. I need somebody to... Does it act under pressure? Hmm. No, this would be investigative mystery. So that's roll plus sharp. So you're all good. We're rolling for that. Uh, whoever wants to lead the trail, yes. Maxine's got a two, so. Just I think, one of a lot, I think a lot of people have a two. Yeah. yeah, I also have a two on sharp. The only one that we all sucked on was cool. Ah. Negative one. <laughs> yeah, nobody is cool in this game. No. You roll two dice there. Huh? Well, would you really be in this crew if you were cool? Yeah. That's right. Um, oh. This one. Seven. Seven? Mm hmm. Uh, so that means you get to hold one. So you're allowed to ask, uh, what happened here? Um,. Uh, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? Or what is being concealed here? Well, the creature... You're not talking about the creature in this situation, no. obviously. Where did he go? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as you are searching around, kind of looking around the area, um, you with your, uh, private investigative eyes do mm -hmm. spot some broken branches kind of off to the northeast of you. That doesn't right. necessarily so. mean it's him, but that is... Yeah. Somebody's gone through there. Yes. Could have been an animal, okay. even. Is there a way around that that we can take the mule, or are we on foot? You're on foot. All right, guys. We'll take. We'll leave the mule here. We'll follow this trail. All right. Okay, so with the drone... Uh huh. It's like, is it beneficial for it to like go ahead, like put it up in the air and put it slightly ahead? Like I, I've I never. What your range is on that thing? Yeah. Do I have any of that? Those stats or anything? You do or not have stats like, for right... the drone. Um, uh, the only person the right here who I think up. knows about drones would be Charlie. With the right setup, a drone can go like five kilometers, but the battery will only last half an hour. Yeah. So, like, it can go a long ways ahead, but it's short lived. Okay. I'm just thinking for. Oh, so he saves us a lot of walking if we put yeah. it up and stay. That's fine. Yeah. I so just. We can set up right here instead of walking. And see what we can see from above yeah so can we do that yep and see if there's anything worth seeing or worth heading off to all right maxi put that thing in the air we'll see what we get okay i'm gonna pretend like i know what i'm doing with my little controller fix 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 <laughs> Wow. Actually, modern drones fly themselves. Modern drone, modern drone, modern drone. <laughs> um. <laughs> I assume she could run it off her cell phone so we could kind of follow a trail. Probably. I'm just looking at something. I was looking through uh, the hunter moves and in the section manipulating monsters. 
there's a guy who's like screaming in the face of like what looks like a badger and it made me laugh it's page 192 of the uh the handbook if anybody wants to see it so i would say do i need to do anything um i'm trying to go through the moves quick to see if there's something you need to do okay Um, <laughs> did you go and look at the picture? I did. <laughs> it looks funny, doesn't it? Um, okay, well, uh, let's try, yeah, let's do an act under pressure roll for this. So this is roll plus cool. For me? Good luck. Yep. Oh, You're the one operating the drone. Oh, 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 so three. Okay. So how, useless. how connected are you Is to he... this drone? No! Because on a fail, That's rude. on an act under pressure roll, Things go to hell. Nice. So at least we got good use out of the drone. Went up as in the you, air. As you raise collapsed. the drone up into the air, you have never driven it in a rural area like this before. You're usually in like downtown in a city somewhere. Which would be because... way harder, yes. Go on. No no, there's not as much wind in the area because oh, you're right on the water gotcha. here. So right. You uh, fly it up into the air, and you're normally you're used to like calm environments where you just can like dodge through things quickly. Not a big deal, yeah. right? But as yeah. soon as you get above the tree line, the wind catches it and pushes it right back down into a tree. Son of a biscuit. Depending how it crashed, we just probably broken propellers. Yeah, it would be. So it is recoverable. It is able to be fixed, okay. but you will not be able to use it the it's, rest of the day. It's not going to be today. It's not going to be today in Correct. the forest. All right. Okay. Well, that also, you, somebody has it. to climb a tree to get it. I'll do it. You're not climbing up there, Wyatt. It'll What's be Charlie or myself. Climb a tree. I'll climb the tree. I'm younger. Ouch. Well, if that's the basis, then I should go. <laughs> no. You're probably just going to fall out of the tree. Do I need to roll to climb a tree? No. Probably can't support your weight. Okay, good. He's just called you fat. If I fall, I'll make sure to fall on Wyatt. <laughs> cool, let so, me just hold this gun right here. You can fall right on it like a spear. So, you climb up the tree, grab the drone out of the tree, and climb back down. As you look at it, okay. one arm is kind of cracked a little bit, but two propellers on the left-hand side are snapped off. Okay. There is a repair shop back in town, correct? I don't know. I wasn't looking for one. I think uh, we passed one. Wyatt, you, you would have an answer to that question. Yeah, there was a repair shop. They repaired my uh, teddy bear. Okay, great. That's yeah, really nice. What was his name? Do you remember? No. Did you ask? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're starting our, our usual with this game. Yeah. Names don't matter. Nice man who fixes teddy bears. Oh. Yes, that's his name. <laughs> you got it. Okay. 
wouldn't be too surprising that a 14 year old wouldn't get a person's name. Okay, doesn't matter. You guys are right, so we're just going off. into the woods then? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as you venture deeper into the woods of the Nahani Valley National Park, uh, you are searching for Elias Redwood. Uh, you travel along the path to see if that's the correct way to go. Um, and as you are traveling to head in the direction of what you assume is a walking trail from him going to his house, you're not sure. A thick fog begins to roll in. Um, you are used to fog. You've seen fog before. But there's something a little bit different about this one. Uh, it seems somewhat unnatural. It starts... Spooky fog. So would it be considered a phenomenon? phenomenon or mystical why what do you get with that i can do plus weird instead of cool again yeah but you're <laughs> not doing anything right now yet but yes possibly um the fog We're starts enough come in clinging to the trees and the ground and it reduces your visibility to a mere few feet uh, the air starts becoming like thick and dense um, and you start hearing strange and whispers that sound like they're far away but they seem to like travel through with the mist um, uh, any the temperature change nope yeah it's, it's, it's cold out. cold well, it's we cold were cold because we were wearing thermals yeah yeah, but it could get colder or warmer too because fog is usually associated with temperature too. No temperature change at all. Uh, but the once the path that seemed clear ahead is now it looks like it's like twisting and turning in front of you. And it's very difficult to discern what the correct direction would be. Um, as you continue forward you're starting to see that it's not only just a disorienting thing, but it's starting to have a effect on your senses as well. The whispers start to grow louder, taking on a, an unsettling, um, almost intelligible tone. Um, there's shadows that are flickering within the fog giving giving it out an impression of movement as well um but it's always just beyond your line of sight um i need you all to roll uh well not you all i need an act under pressure roll from someone which is a of course cool roll but however you might have a plus two here i can do it because i do have a plus two here <laughs> Ten. Ten. Woo. You do what you set out to do. So, you've been... That's, just, that's kind of cool. The song that just came on is called The Fog. Uh, <laughs> I didn't pick that. I just want to say it just came on. Um, so, as you are wandering through, uh, your military senses kick in charlie and you've been in places where they've used like gases and things to fog your vision uh and you immediately take the lead and are shouting for everybody to stay behind you everybody keep in contact with each other keep talking with each other and wander through uh you manage to find your way and start coming uh pushing through this dense fog uh, once you do, um, you 
come across a clearing, another clearing, but this one isn't a natural clearing. Um, you see a bunch of stumps all around you. Um, and as you see these stumps, the fog starts to dissipate a little bit and you see a handmade cabin in the middle of this forest made of what you would assume is the trees that have been cut down in this clearing. Well, that's intriguing. <laughs> intriguing. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> uh, Terrible. It's... It gives off a vibe that it was made by... A, a smart person but an eccentric person in the way it was made and as you come across the cabin you see a figure come out from behind it um i will show you what said figure looks like um and we're gonna say that it looks like um What's his name? Uh, Victor, again. Um, give me one sec. You see that man appear from behind the cabin. The twist of this game is we're all actually siblings. We're all related. Um, he turns towards you guys. And his eyes are wild, and he has a sort of manic grin on his face. And he looks towards you, and it's like, Well, you found my sanctuary. Is he the holding a rifle? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring out my gun, but not point it at him. This is where I've been trying to unravel the truth. The hidden forces that govern these woods, but entering now, well... That's a decision you'll have to make. He kind of laughs to himself and walks inside. 